Hi friends, welcome to another episode of Oh Shit with Art Resin. Today we're going to talk about that asshole drips, why they happen, how to fix them, and how to prevent those from happening again. So drips. Once you've poured your art resin over your entire piece, it's going to begin to self-level as it cures. So once it begins to self-level, any excess resin is going to drip off onto the side of your piece to the underside. And you're going to be left with these little hard resin nubs, or as I'd like to say, little resin nipples. Some people don't like the way this looks on their piece. They want it to look very clean and polished. So the best way to remove these little resin nubs, resin nipples is pretty much with some elbow grease. You're gonna use some sandpaper and just and you know, kinda sand away as best as you can. You can use a sanding rock, which is probably a lot easier than plain old sandpaper. And again, it's just elbow grease. Or you can go hardcore and use a vibrating palm sander and vibrate and sand off all of the resin nubs. Or, depending on your substrate, you can use a little X-Acto knife and pick off all of the little resin nubs. Little resin nipple! One by one. Don't really recommend it, it's a little bit time consuming. But, if you're single like me, you got time. So, I'm going to show you now how to prevent this from happening again. In this case, we've pre-prepped our piece prior to our pour. And on the back, we've used two different types of tape to help catch the drips. On this side, we've used painter's tape, and on this side, we've used tuck tape, which is a lot hardier than its counterpart. So right now, I'm going to remove all of the painter's tape. You may have to work at it a little, but it's all going to eventually come right off. See? There you go. Drips all caught. And now we're going to work on the tuck tape side. And as you can see, it's coming off quite easily. So we've removed all of our tape. And as you can see, we have a perfectly dripless backside. The key is to remove the tape after your resin has hit a 24 hour touch dry cure. If you wait a little longer than that, you're gonna have a tougher time trying to remove the tape from the backside. So that's it friends, we fixed the drips. So stay tuned for another episode of Oh Shit with Art Resin. Hmm, I wonder if this will hold on a bedpost. It's waterproof. That's a good thing. Stay tuned for our next installment of our Oh Shit series to help you with all of your screw ups when using art resin. Or you can go a little bit more hardcore and use a vibrating belt sander and you'll just vibrate and all the 